is cool. And we're covering Colorado first with your forecast. Here's a live look from our Lookout Mountain Cam. And your reminder, we enter daylight saving time overnight. Turn those clocks back an hour and sleep an extra hour, right, <laughs> meteorologist Chris Spears? Yes, ma'am. Well, on that morning show tomorrow, we will enjoy that extra hour sleep. Check your smoke alarms as well. A couple of showers still out there. This is very, very light, probably not even reaching the ground in many areas. But just know if you're going out, you could still run into a couple of these little pesky snow showers up high or rain showers down low. We have a very powerful jet stream slicing through the area. One weather system's pulling away. The next one drops in. Tomorrow. It's currently up near Washington. As long as that jet hangs with us, we are going to have cooler than normal weather, occasional wind and occasional bouts of rain or snow. Still very windy on the eastern plains tonight. We'll see a little decrease as we go into the evening. 40s and 50s right now on the plains, 20s and 30s in the high country, 40s and 50s over on the western slope. We did top out at 54 at DIA, started at 39. These numbers have updated since we last talked to you. 53 and 41 here downtown, not too far away from the normals for this date. No Nowhere near the records. Irv Crump, a 12 hundredths of an inch of precip there in South Parker with a wind that topped out at 22 miles per hour. We have a winter weather advisory already in effect for the approaching storm that's up near Washington. Up to another foot of snow could fall in higher terrain uh, locations north of Highway 50 and at pass level we may see 50 mile per hour wind gusts. So your Sunday afternoon and evening travel and into early Monday will be tough in the high country. Here's future cast. Just a couple of little pesky showers lingering tonight into tomorrow. 7 a.m. Watch to the top left of your screen. By noon that storm will already be rolling in with widespread snow in the high country. East side of the mountains will be partly to Mostly cloudy and possibly a couple of those scattered showers like we saw today. Nothing too heavy expected. And as we roll into Monday morning, same deal. Mountain snow coming to an end, but maybe a few pesky showers here on the eastern plains. Low temperatures tonight, uh, mostly 30s with the cloud cover east and west, 20s in the high country. Tomorrow, oh, about like today, we'll get back into those 50s on the eastern plains with 30s and 40s in the high country. Your temperature is a little colder with all that blue there as cloud cover increases ahead of the storm. Heading to the Broncos game could be a little breezy and could see a stray shower, but all in all, we just think quite a bit of cloud cover. Temperatures kind of flirting with 50. Blustery tonight, maybe a stray shower, low to mid 30s. Tomorrow, low to mid 50s, mostly cloudy, possibly an afternoon shower and a little breezy at times. Here's the five day forecast, Kathy. So that next storm comes in tomorrow and gets out of here Monday. Tuesday's a break. Next one, Wednesday, Thursday. This one is going to bring some cold air. You see that 33 there mm -hmm. on Thursday. Let's look to next weekend. Another one comes at us Saturday into Sunday. So it's all part of this active jet stream. We have several more days of cooler than normal, unsettled weather. Okay, Chris, thank you. Sure. Well,